pastor under fire for his role in his son's same-sex wedding ceremony. The Reverend broke Methodist church law officiating the wedding and now faces a church trial that could lead to him being defrocked. ABC's Rena Ninen has much more on this. Good morning. Good morning to you, Robin. The United Methodist Church says it's faithful. The 11 million around the world focuses on putting faith and love into action. That's exactly what one reverend did. Now the church is asking questions. He is the minister willing to give it all up for his son, even if it means being forced out of the priesthood of the United Methodist Church for officiating his gay son's wedding. I felt totally honored and I I, I was full of joy. Reverend Frank Schaefer says his son Tim was forced to admit he was gay at 17, but instantly he and his wife accepted the news. He had cried himself to sleep many times and he knew that that this wasn't right because he had heard that message from his church. Schaefer says he informed his superiors he was going to perform the wedding back in 2007 and they did nothing to stop him. But six years later, a parishioner complained. Now the minister will face trial before a jury of his church peers Monday to determine whether he can remain a pastor. What is my crime? I blessed two people that loved each other. We ask you, Lord, for understanding. He's buoyed by support, like this candle vigil, and from fellow ministers. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, never mentioned homosexuality at all. And my point is, if it is that important of an issue, why didn't he mention it? If your dad is defrocked and forced out of ministry, do you believe it was worth it? I do. This is getting the conversation started to revisit really discriminatory policies, and I think that will have made it worth it. Despite what the verdict brings, he said he would do it all again. They're your children. They're your flesh and blood. A Facebook page supporting Reverend Schaefer has received more than 2,000 likes. We did reach out to the church, but Robin, they declined to comment. But again, he didn't try and get away with anything. He informed his superiors when he was doing it. They had no problem. And then a parishioner comes forward six years later. Six years later, and they said they really wanted this to be a private ceremony. They didn't want to do this real big public announcement mm -hmm. and bring it back in. And, and they feel very moved that this is a, an issue that affects a lot of people in America. It gets the conversation going again. Yeah. Rena, thank you. you One thing's for sure, he's a loving dad. Yes, he is.